Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I am the Soul Teacher and I'm here today to do a very special reading with you. It's called the Chiron the Wounded Healer. Um, so this is Chiron, the, the Wounded Healer, <clears throat> and this is an asteroid. And this asteroid was named after this guy. Um, so I want to tell you more about this um, and it's imperative that you understand how it works. Um, Chiron was active at your birth in a very specific place. Um, and this is about how Chiron shows up in your natal chart. Now, this does not go like the normal sun signs or the moon signs or um, or the, the Venus signs or whatever. You have to, to see specifically at the time of your birth when Chiron was or where was Chiron in your natal chart. Now, if you go down to the description box below, you'll see there's a list of um, dates, um, dates of between this and then. Um, if you know the time of your birth, you can also use that. It just makes it more accurate. You'll see there are times as well where you can see where was your Chiron at your date of birth. Um, and then proceed to that reading, um, the one that is necessary for you to watch. I do, however, recommend that you watch this as your sun sign reading too. Um, normally, astrologers would say that Chiron is only according to your birth chart. As I've done my research around this, um, I've really noticed a lot of the things that is in my birth, my, my sun sign, and the people I know and love around me as well, very much pertains to their lives as well. So I would recommend that you watch both your your um, sign that Chiron was in at the date of your birth, as well as your sun sign. It is very infor informative. So I will go ahead and go do the different videos now, and I hope you enjoy it. Chiron in Pisces. So let me tell you more about the wounded healer. So this is about um, a very deep soul wound that you have decided to work on through this lifetime. So this is not something that is fleeting, um, but Chiron is giving you the supportive energies in this life to work through this. So this is not something like I got hurt and now I'm working through it and then I get out the other side healed and happy. This is something that is either from a, a past life or from this life, doesn't really matter. But this is something that goes very deep and you will keep on peeling the layers of this for the rest of this life. Um, I have decided to not do an extended reading for this because it's very private and it's very um, deep. So if you are interested, you are welcome to follow the link in the description box below to my website where you can purchase your own private Chiron reading. Right, so guys, how this is going to work, I have researched this topic for the last two days quite extensively, and I'm going to read you a few things that you can expect with Pisces being in Chiron, or Chiron being in Pisces. Um, I do recommend that you watch this in your sun sign as well. <clears throat> um, I do see that it really completes the story. I'm not even going to sugarcoat this Pisces. Pisces is the most difficult to work with. Um, whew, it's been very heavy, so I really feel for you guys. But remember, you chose this. This was your decision before you came in. Um, not feeling grounded not knowing where to go, not knowing who you are. I don't even know where I fit into anything. I want to separate, escape, disappear from this reality. It can show up as any form of escapism that allows you to take a break, to be alone or on your own outside of any human activities. You have to be aware of where you go that's excessive, too, um, too far out of your human senses. You have to come back and ground yourself. Be aware of your body, of your responsibilities, um, things that you have to take care of on a daily basis. If you learn to trust your feelings and your intuition, you will have an easier time to come back and ground. Very gifted with creativity, music, healing, art, creating other worlds to balance the human experience. Develop your, your spiritual gifts, develop your intuition and use these as tools to incorporate and allow the support, um, allow to support without having to leave the human experience. 
repairing your connection to spirit so what i what i get when i read all of this is people who um who are um what's the word i'm looking for um <laughs> can you believe it um sorry I'm working with very different energies here today and it's difficult for me to um, incorporate what I feel and see into actual words and this is even worse now because of this you don't like the human experience it's easier for you to grab a bottle and to drink the whole bottle so that you don't have to be human any longer you can go somewhere else you can escape drugs are easier because you don't have to face this human situation anymore um, it's difficult for you most artists come out of Chiron and Pisces because um, when when you create something on canvas or a statue or a sculpting or whatever it means that you don't have to be present in the human experience right now you can go somewhere else where you're not needed but then you can get lost in it. You can get lost in that experience and then you need to come back and remember, but hey, there's things that I need to do on a daily basis. I still need to eat. I need to pay the bills. I need to live. I need a house. Um, I need to take care of my loved ones or whatever the case might be. You have to ground. And that's what Chiron and Pisces is all about. That's the soul wound that you're healing is you have to be okay with being with other humans and with you being human. Um, it might also be a question of you have to find that balance. Don't go to places where there are so many people. Lots of people love the loudness and the rowdiness of a crowd. You don't. You can't stand it. You feel overwhelmed. You feel like you need to get away from there. And that's when you go away and then sometimes you forget to come back. And then you're not grounded. So grounding is a very, very important thing here. So in which chakra lies this feeling of not fitting in? We have crown chakra. And I absolutely get it because you are the creative type. You are the type that would um, be able to make the most beautiful paintings or sculptings or whatever. Because you have this beautiful imagination. Pisces is the dreamer of the zodiac. And if you can put that on canvas, um, you, you stand separate from the crowd. That's why you don't fit in. And it's because of this very divine spiritual union, this connection with spirit that is almost the purest of the pure, um, which is the most divine. But in the same sense, it also goes back to... Um, you are not like the rest so it's difficult for you to fit in how does this show up in your life you have these memories maybe past life memories or maybe memories of when you were a child and you were safe and you didn't have to be part of the human experience you might have had a mom or a dad or whatever that would support you in your creative endeavors and would allow you to have that imaginary friend or to play um, imaginary games or whatever, and you would feel safe and happy. So how this affects your life is you keep on trying to go back to, to that place where you didn't have to be human, where you didn't have to human today. You can be whoever you want to be. You can be that superhero. You can be a god or a goddess that doesn't need the people around them. Um, and, and this is the Six of Cups. It's the memories of love. You can go back to that safe space um, and that safe space is most of the time where other humans are not present or even welcome <clears throat> um how can you be more grounded because that's that's the ticket here is if you want to be more part of this human world and you want to be um you want to fit in better, you have to make sure that you are always very grounded. How can you be more grounded? Your spiritual gifts are really, really intense. Crown chakra, hello, intuition, high priestess. You are guided. You are divinely guided. And if you can listen to your intuition and use your gifts to 
respond when your higher self tells you, hold on, go back and ground. And you do that immediately, you will feel so much better. But if you, if you hear that little, because remember your intuition is the voice that whispers. It's not the screaming one. The human one is the screaming one. The ego is the one that screams and says, I don't want to be part of that human crowd. The intuition would, would softly whisper and say, you have to go ground. You are losing yourself. If you decide to not listen to that voice and you don't go and ground, it's going to be so much more difficult to come back and to then start the grounding process. But if you can listen to that, that voice, when, when that voice says, I don't like where I am, go back and go ground immediately and you will always be grounded in some way. How can you develop your spiritual gifts and intuition? <laughs> choose wisely. That's where the screaming and whispering comes in. You have to choose every single moment of every single day. You have both of these voices in your head. It's the one you choose that to act on that actually makes your life a, a reality. And if you can choose wisely, don't choose according to I don't want to go tonight because there's going to be too many people around. But what if you go tonight and you meet the love of your life? What if you go tonight and you meet someone that gives you the opportunity to create a business you've always wanted? What if you go tonight and you meet someone that offers you a job where you can live out your imagination and you can create things that you don't necessarily have to be so much around other human beings? Choose wisely what you act on. And when you start to act on, act wisely on these things, act on the whisper instead of the scream, you will find the pattern in that. And when you find the pattern and you get the reward of, I'm so happy I listened to my inner voice today because now I've got this beautiful job, you will realize that oh, but I need to listen more to that voice. And the more you accept it and you're susceptible to it, the more that voice will come in and you will then develop your gift. Wow. This is a very nice reading, Pisces. I didn't expect this. I, I expected something very heavy, but this is very cool. Advice from Chiron. Interesting, isn't it? Community. <laughs> That's what you try to escape from. That's what you try to let to let go and Chiron tells you to become part of your community but this is also not just any community this is your soul tribe this is the people that has got a soul contract with you to help you in this world to help you on this earth in this lifetime your community your people the people that would that would understand you and that would know okay I need to leave this person alone for a while so that they can ground. And then when the, that person doesn't come back, then they'll go get them. Wow. Guys, this was absolutely gorgeous. I so enjoyed this reading. I really hope that it helped you. Um, please like, share and subscribe. Um, it really helps to grow my channel. I really appreciate you being here. I'll see you again soon. Take care.